Mike's Daily Podcast. F episode, wait, 952, right? Because it was 951 yesterday. I thought it was 950 yesterday. No, we, it was 951. 51. Okay, so it would be 952. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The coffee ain't working anymore. Um, hi, it's Mike Matthews. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's the name of the show they just sang. The, the show. That's Haley over yeah. there. Once again, Haley. Mike's Daily Podcast has come back for more abuse. Man, Mythbusters is going to end, and that's kind of sad because it brought a lot of attention to Alameda and that old naval base they had. That guy with the big mustache and the one with the hair weave that's bad <laughs> used to blow up lots of stuff and make their next-door neighbors mad and make Christians mad because that one guy is an atheist. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I got put off that show with the constant recap and teasing that you, Mike's you watch it daily and they go, hey, podcast. if you just joined us, yeah, here's what happened. Blah, blah, blah. He built this up but every time they came back from commercial. Well, that's and then, Discovery Channel for you. And then coming up, blah, 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 blah. So they spend like this much time. I'm making a small little hand gesture here. Of, of actual content And the rest is Tease and recap there's Tease, o- recap There's only two shows On Discovery Channel That don't do that And they are Cash Cab And How It's Made Is Cash Cab The Get in the Cab The Get in the Cab And it's a game show Oh Okay I thought Something Else happened Okay yeah. What? So there's a game show And is, it, is that a good show? It, it, it was pretty good They don't play it anymore Unfortunately, but oh. yeah, it was a fun little game show. They got in the basically, like they got in the the cab, and then they would be asked trivia questions. Uh-huh. And if they got three or something wrong, uh, they'd have to get out of the cab. But if they got them right, all oh. the way until they got to where they went. See, it was always a time limit depending on how far they were traveling. Interesting. They could win money, and then they could like double or nothing it. And if they lost, they still got a free cab ride. But that's the thing about TV that I can't stand is all the constant recapping. And uh, I mean, you don't see it with the shows that have scripts because they keep the story moving. They don't go, this is what just happened to Modern Family when you were went to before you because you just joined us. But they do do the previously on. Mm. Right. Which, but but that's just at the beginning like of two, the show. That's two to fine. Five minutes. Yeah. They do that. I don't know. I'm watching Castle right now with my parents because it's like their favorite show. And there's a lot of previously on Castle. Why is it good Christian people watch Castle? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's it, highly sexual. Really? At times. Wow. Oh, we got this thing on this Christian station we work for where they review like popular culture things. And we were listening, Haley and I, and they were doing a review of Taylor Swift's new song. They're like, Taylor Swift has come a long way from her country roots. And now her latest song, she has had some sort of tryst. Baby, this song isn't good for your children to listen to. What, style? No, uh, the the latest one where it's like she's in Africa or something in the video. Oh, I think I saw that video. I don't remember what the song. I thought that was style. I thought that was the... No, no, no. Style is... the. I thought that was a video. For the style. lyrics to style... Are fairly wholesome. Yeah, he, she's just like a f- completely obsessed with this guy, Peruge. Peruge. Because he's got that James Dean look in his eye. She's got that long hair. <laughs> blank. blank space. I love Blank Space. It's a good song. Good song. I like the uh, the drum track they used on that. It's it sounds very eighties. Yeah. But she said that, she was influenced by nineteen eighty nine, the, yeah. the year that she was born. Yeah. Well, the whole the, her whole new style ish thing style. But um. But the new album. What 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 was? I don't get it. What was that joke? There was a rim shot, and I didn't hear the joke. What was the joke? The new album uh, Humor Once you got past like Shake It Off Uh huh It started to remind me A little bit of Lord Really? Yeah. And And I heard Lord and, and Taylor Swift Had a tiff 
I didn't. I heard they're good friends. I heard that it was rumored they had a tiff. I heard she shunned. Taylor shunned. Hi, welcome to Gossip Talk. And hi, guys. Welcome to YouTube Gossip Talk. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm waving my hand in the air. Like, I care. Like, I'm waving hi to you. Taylor Swift would never do that to Lord. They're totally BFFs. I don't even know what you're talking about. How can you be so dumb, Stacy? <sighs> Thank you so much for doing that. That I Have you ever watched one of those vlog vlog videos, Duh. podcasts that Duh. they all the time? Not all the time. Oh. I've seen someone Vlog while they were dressed up as Pikachu surrounded by Pokemon plushies. Oh man, you just blew my mind. <laughs> so now that we made fun of this, you were going to say something else. No, I wasn't. There's nothing else that okay, needs good. to be said about that. <laughs> I would like now some sort of uh, to one of those girls that do those type of uh, video vlogs that we were just making fun of to make fun of us now. That'd be great. <laughs> Tit for tat. <laughs> yes. Yes. We we are not What's the kind a tat of people. And where do I get it for the other thing? That's a horrible, creepy joke. Go ahead. Well, tat is. You've never heard the the term tat. What's a tat? It's like is uh, that like a tattoo? No. You know how you get all that tourist junk in like when you when you're traveling and it's just just random things. Like like brochures? No, like little tiny Eiffel Towers. Oh, or oh those, yeah. Those furry koalas that clip onto things. Uh-huh. Um, that's kind of what tat is. Tat is just meaningless merchandise thrown out uh, for the sake of representing something. Oh. You've never heard tat? No. Yeah. I th Maybe is it also known as swag? No, that's what, no. You get, what you get from a radio station. Yeah. Swag is something that you may or may not actually want. Oh. Tat you don't really want. This is... We've just really scraped the surface and, and gotten into the underbelly of today's culture. Thank mm -hmm. you for listening to today's show, 952. 952, write it down. Do you, anybody... Did you hear for anybody saying that they listened to the show? Anybody new? No? Yeah, no one listens to our show. Oh, good. All right. Whew, I was feeling pressure for a second. Wow. Hey, look who just walked in. Hello, my God, Masters. This is Madame Ooh, the Baker. Hello, Haley. What was that? Oh, my gosh. I'm hearing a knocking sound. What is that? Okay. I will obey you. I think there's a leak. Oh. Yeah, we got a leak here, even though it's not raining outside. Could be we someone's should. taking a bath on the roof. We should plug it. Look who else just walked With in. some chumbawamba, drip, 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 goes the water. Drip, 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 goes. Take me in. Draw me out. Let Pull me up. Let me down. So the average person would go, Chumbawamba, didn't they just have that one song, Tub Thumping? Oh no, my friend. Chumbawamba is the best band ever. Chumbawamba is an anarcho-punk band with extreme uh, folk roots. And I love their harmonies. Yeah, yeah. That's and their, their drum thing. They're cool 90s drum beats. Programmed uniquely for every song. I love drum beats, as you know. I love mm -hmm. drum loops. Mm -hmm. Although I'm getting a little miffed when I li when I was driving up to Bodega Bay on Friday, I was listening to Froggy Country mm -hmm. out of like Santa Rosa or something, and there was every song is all new country, all guys. I didn't hear a single female. Of course not. And all songs had drum loops. Yep. And then like the guitar, kind of like Kid Rock guitar. And then, like a song about well, we went out to the to the uh, to the uh, uh, beer uh, truck, out to the and the girls in their hot little Daisy Dukes, bubble blah blah. Yeah, like that Florida. All I need is a pickup truck and my dog and a case of beer. All I need is my rifle sticking out of my camo backpack and a weekend away. I'm gonna go out and. Work on the crops, even though I don't do that because I'm entitled. <laughs> Woo! I'm uh, 
rebel by the grace of God. A rebel by the grace of God. <laughs> Country oh. by the grace of God. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to thank you. I for love singing my that song. Confederate flag. Now we need a bunch of uh, bro country guys to do a song making fun of making us. Making fun of us. <laughs> Man, I love me a podcast. <laughs> That's Haley's new song called Man, I Love Me. <laughs> Man, I love me. Delicious coffee out of my wake up, America cup. Wake up, America. I'm tasked with waking up America every single morning, and that's why I have this cup. Now, you, of course, are assuming that people are listening to us in the morning. Maybe they're listening to us at night. Then we're See, waking I, them up I, at night. I don't wake them up with this podcast. Oh. I just wake them up. Like, if you woke up today, then it's because of me. You're that's, welcome. yeah. Even if you didn't hear this, you were woken up. Good morning, Mr. Matthews. So today we're going to bring you the Michaelopedia and Sanica. And uh, some interesting facts and stories and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you can also check out... Oh, who, look who else walked in. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino the back here today. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Yes. Bison, you got out of your jar. Yeah. I grew out of it. Coming out of my jar and I've been feeling just fine. I really hate this song. Why do you hate the killers so much? I don't hate the killers so much. I just dislike that song. Oh. I find nothing particularly interesting about it, and it just comes across as harsh to my eardrums. I sang it at my Mikey or Ario- Mikey Oki? Mikey Arioki. <laughs> at my house, there, my two friends came over and we sang, and I, I sang that song. Yeah. I, I was really. I was weird. on a wrong key anyway. I was like, winded. Uh, I enjoyed it. Good. Uh, So, Bison, you're back to normal. He's shaking his head. Good. And then, uh, Valentino, how are you doing with your your Freedom Caucus? Yeah, my Freedom Caucus. That's a really weird word. The Freedom Caucus is telling Paul Ryan what to do. And Paul Ryan's going, okay, I'll do what you tell me to do today. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah, I understood that. Freedom Caucus. Mm-hmm. That's going on in the House of Representatives right now, the Freedom Caucus. Right. Because they control everything, and they would probably be those people that be like, This podcast is inspired by Satan! It's true. <laughs> that's that's the whole reason I'm here. I have not seen Beelzebub lately. Well, Beelzebub isn't, isn't necessarily Satan. No, Beelzebub is someone else? Could be. Is Beelzebub uh, the, the character that Michael Keaton played in that movie? Is he? Probably. Oh, no, wait, that's Beelzebub. Be- uh, I'm confused uh, myself. <laughs> but please, uh, help us out by going and shopping and buying a bunch of stuff on Amazon, but go through MikeSillyPodcast.com and click on the link first. Please, sir. And please, when you go... Oh, Find us on Facebook. Find me on Facebook, Mike Matthews. Hunt him down. But when you when you look up Mike Matthews, you're gonna get Michael Matthews, the guy, the big weight trainer guy who has the the six pack and you know he's really uh, muscular. And please send him a message like change your name. Change your name. Because I can't live up to that pressure. He's too ripped. Maybe you should change his name to Matt Michaels. Oh, that's true. Hey, so then there's also the pa- PayPal in Glorious Mike's Daily Podcaster. Do that thing. Hey, Help so, all right, I'm going to bring up a sensitive issue. Please. In our last episode? In one of our last two episodes. Yes, yes, let's go back. We, um, you slipped up mm-hmm. and you said the word that Podcaster is based out of. Right, yes, and I bleeped it. But at the beginning of that episode... He said the word for a female dog, and he did not bleep it. No, that was a previous episode, and yes, I... Well, why do we not censor the name for a, bri- for a female dog, but we do censor the name for someone who whose parents are not married, even though that is extremely common nowadays, and the other word is actually degrading to women? Wow, Haley. I feel like crap now. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, donate to us. If you if you become a uh, 
If you come on Mike's uh, daily podcastered, then uh, all of the Cafe Anywhere characters will personally apologize to you. Yes, for they will. saying those bad things. They will apologize. They're because they're apologetics. Mm-hmm. Apologetics. Apologetics. <laughs> apologicians. That's a lovely straw noise. I liked your straw noise. You know what? Um, that's very interesting. You just gave me a flashback to 20 years ago when I started at Kehei. And I used that word that you mentioned that you don't like on the air. Because I was using it in the context of I was complaining about something. Right. And this guy called me up, who the disgruntled fiddle player is based on. And he said, uh, oh wait, disgruntled fiddle player, can you please come in? Here, door sound effect here. Okay. Oh wow! I just I, don't, <laughs> I hit a fade on a paint brick. All right. Uh, yeah, you rang. Okay, say what he said. Yeah, don't say that word ever again on the radio. Thank you. Goodbye. That's what he said to me, and I was like, wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you kind of can in this area, but I need a, a twenty-year reminder for that. Every 20 years, set your alarm. Okay. Send an email to yourself in 20 years. Ooh. Can you do that? That's bizarre. Did it's you like see a, there was a glitch like, like a, a few months back on Gmail where people were getting emails from like 1904? No. Or 1980 something? Because they had the internet in 1904. Well, it was the IOS sometime because they the had clocks the were ARPANET in like the 80s, I think. Yeah. The, Arp- the ARPANET. That's weird. It's like a time capsule, Haley. Mm hmm. And it was like a blank email from 19-something. Uh, what was it? Oh, we're also on uh, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Podomatic, YouTube, Mixcloud. Ameristream Live. Ameristream Live, thank you. That's another one. Tumblr, Twitter, Yelp, and iTunes. Yep. Well, I'm rather hot. I had to take my little cap off because mm-hmm. I'm so hot here at Cafe Anyway. Oh, I talked to Matt yesterday who was on the podcast a week ago or so. Was that the guy from that one shop? From Niles, yeah, the yeah. ice cream shop right. in Niles. And he said to me, well, how do I get to Cafe Anyway? He thought this was a real place. <laughs> and I'm like, no, those are just sound effects. Like we're at a... Ca- it's, you know, kind of theater of the mind thing, like we're pretending. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what? He didn't quite understand. Oh. Well, you should have just told him to look it up on Yelp, and he'll get directions that way. He he looked it up, got Anyway Cafe, which is in New York. Doesn't Cafe, Cafe Anyway have a Yelp page, though? No. Oh, um, I should do that, huh? I thought they did. Mike's Daily Podcast has a Yelp page. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, I should. I just haven't done it. I, Cafe Anyway has a Facebook page that you can find the Mike Silly podcast blog. This is fascinating stuff, isn't it? Let's go to our very informative Michaelopedia and Seneca, and let's use that great song from Chumba Wumba we were singing earlier. The Michaelopedia in Seneca. It's a trickle down theory, and it's coming to me. Lights are with brown. It's a good song. Did you want to do your story first or me? It's a good song. You go first. So I have definitely been feeling this lately. My brain is shrinking. Feeling it! Our brains are shrinking naturally. and Feeling it! Our ri- what are you... What is that? It's Blink-182. Just keep talking and I'll fill in with the... I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so okay. you do your story in the style of the, the chorus of, of that... Of the verse of that song and I'll just say I'm feeling it. Okay, I think I remember how that song goes. Okay. Uh, our risk of having a stroke... Dem- I'm feeling it! Dementia or Alzheimer's rise... I'm feeling it! And almost everyone experiences some kind of memory loss. I'm feeling it! Scientists know... <laughs> that people who exercise regularly eat a healthy diet and avoid smoking... 
and keep mentally stimulated by doing podcasts generally have healthier brains than people who aren't as careful about diet and exercise. This latest study shows how one easy-to-follow diet, which includes wine, may make your brain about five years younger. Can you drink wine? Yeah. You just can't drink beer. I just can't drink beer. Because you're gluten uh, averse. Yes. Gotcha. And I can drink tons of rum. Wow. I had a, a Coke and rum on Friday night in Bodega Bay with my friends. Nice. I had a Coke and rum a couple of weeks back at an Olive Garden. And I had always made them myself. And, like, I guess I didn't know how to make them. Because I, I, I like, add rum to my Coke. And when I got this rum and Coke, it was, like, a very small amount of Coke with, like, a bunch of rum in it. Uh-huh. And it was like, oh, that's how it's supposed to taste. <laughs> it was good. It was just mostly alcohol. Haley, before you know it, you're just going to be drinking rum just right out of the bottle. I've done that. You, you're nuts. It's not that bad. How are you standing right now? Rum is evil. Is it the evil drink of the Beelzebub? It's really not. As far as alcohols go, it's got a very sort of... Um, Standard taste. A bunch of other alcohols will have like a specific taste to them. Uh huh. But rum is is pretty. It's pretty standard. Do you did you ever have a rum ball? No. <laughs> Get I ready a, to rum ball. I had a ball when I was drinking rum. I bet. <laughs> but there's more to the story that I found on CNN. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> Uh, researchers looked at the brains of 674 people. That's specific. With an average age of 80. I guess they were alive. They asked <laughs> these elderly people to fill out food surveys. I guess they couldn't have done that if they were dead. Uh, about what they ate in the last year, and researchers scanned their brains. The group that... I love this story, by the way, because the font is huge. <laughs> That last story I read about the, the, the things, the bikes that were on tracks, mm -hmm. the, I was reading that out of a magazine or a paper, the local paper. I know. We could all hear it. And it was so tiny. I couldn't freaking see. <laughs> My eyes aren't even open at this time of the day. Haley, I need you to commiserate with me. <laughs> uh, so this group ate, get ready to say it with me, a Mediterranean, a Mediterranean diet. diet. The group that had eaten a Mediterranean Medi diet, diet had heavier brains with more gray and white matter. This is so gross, this story. I'm getting disgusted. Do you That's know what so I was really watching? What? Down Abbey last night because uh, Greg, the guy we work with, got me all these great uh, things and uh, uh, turned me on to some great shows. Turn but, me on, turn me on. Anyway, what was that song? Turn me on. Who does that? David Guetta featuring Nicki Minaj. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've heard that one. It's good. It's the first thing I heard from Nicki Minaj. The latest Down Abbey, the main character guy. So, Downton Abbey is so, like, everything's so, everything's wonderful, you're posh. just so posh. Yes. And with the clothes, and the, and, the, and the furniture is so old and exquisite and everything. And then all of a sudden... Mr. Wainsworth, please come in here. And all of a sudden, Mr. Wainsworth has, like... Is that actually a character? No. Okay, good. Uh, but, like, the main guy, he all, at dinner, starts uh, throwing up blood everywhere. Like projectile, right? It's disgusting, like and it just three sixty spinning. And of course, it has, has to go onto a white tablecloth, mm -hmm. and that's how Downton Abbey is. It'll go along like everything's, there, and then all of a sudden, bam! Something just like <gasps> shocking, and then but that's all. That's the like fifth episode in that fi something finally happened, and each episode is ninety minutes. Hmm. Anyway, I, it was. Disarmingly disgusting. That reminds me of the one time that I had to read uh, all cre all creatures great, all creatures bright and big, beautiful. All, all creatures great and small. All creatures get off my lawn. No, it, it's okay. It's one of those. It's it's all creatures bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. I think there's a couple of them, and I don't think that's quite the names of them. But they're about this uh, this British veterinarian in like the countryside. 
And he goes around and he's helping all these animals. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, I was reading the summary and a little bit of the tidbit from the middle. I'm like, whatever. I guess I'll read this. It's going to be a cutesy little thing, but I like slice of life things, so uh-huh. I shouldn't enjoy it too bad. And I open the book and the entire first page is, uh, is about cutting off bull's testicles. Good heavens. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, Veterinarian work. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this story up now. Wrap it up. A glass of wine a day is perfectly fine. What you do typically have to limit is the amount of meat, dairy, and saturated fat you eat. Cook more with olive oil as opposed to butter. And a higher consumption of fish seem to make a big difference in keeping your brain young. There you go. Oh my uh, god, that, that was the most boring thing I've heard. I thought that Why was so... Why the hell did you slow down if you're talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you subject us to that misery? Oh wait, what's this story? Posing topless with purpose. Wait, let me click on that. Um, so we got this guy on... You just, you just got, you just fell for the clickbait. Oh no, click... You're welcome. Who is that? Yeah, who is that? Who is that? Anna Beckingham exposed her reconstructed breast for an exhibition in London this week. Reconstructed breast? Okay. Here she poses for a portrait. We don't actually see the the breast, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's listening. CNN. They can't because they're censored. Why, Even though, why are we... All right, I'm turning this off because now we're going to hear that... Interesting Blink 182 song we were ripping off, and then you're gonna tell your story. I got no regret right now. I'm feeling there. There is so cold and low. I'm feeling there. Let me go in her room. I'm feeling there. I wanna take off her clothes. I'm feeling there. Show me the way to bed. I'm feeling there. Show me the way you move. I'm feeling there. The Michael Pini and Seneca continues now with Haley. We probably should have played something by Huey Lewis there because this is referring to yesterday's date, which is the 21st, and then that's the whole Back to the Future Day type thing. I'm up yeah, on. but you sang that song on on the last show, on our Back to the Future Day show, and nothing can compare to that. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that mush mouth rendition of Power of Love by Huey Lewis. It took me a five whole seconds to figure out what you were doing. It just was then. longer than that. All right. Mediterranean diets are good for you. Go. All right. Uh, so. Your brain shrinking. Go. My brain is shrinking right now. And it's gone. Okay, now I can do the podcast. Um, Back to the Future is kind of known for all these like future technologies. The second one, anyway, that kind of popped around, and we're like, "There's no hoverboard," and we're like, "There's no Jaws 16," and stuff like that. Did but- you did you see that trailer they did for Jaws 16 Universal? No, I, I'll the- have to look into it because they they go and then Jaws Jaws four. There was because they actually only made four jobs. Yeah, they only made four. There was actually a project, like in the past two years, where like uh, a bunch of like indie filmmakers were trying to produce as many Jaws films as they could. <laughs> and they didn't have to be about sharks or anything. They were just labeling them Jaws, whatever. Oh, in an effort that... to get to Jaws sixteen, but they were unable to. They made a robot in the in the, in the list of Jaws. Then we brought you Jaws ten, the robot Jaws. Then we did the reboot of Jaws, Jaws eleven. <laughs> then it was Jaws gets personal. Jaws Jaws's family. <laughs> but oh wait, I just remembered we had Jabberjaw back in the. Uh, it was a kids' cartoon. Jaws versus Mothra. That's right. That'd be awesome. Anyway, it's funny. Look it up on YouTube. Universal made it. It's yep. as poking fun at themselves. So, so there's, yes. There's all these technologies that we really wish we had, but we don't mm-hmm. have. Uh, but now, thanks to Nike, they did it. They made self tying shoelaces. How is that possible? It is. Like, it's just kind of a shoe. Uh-huh. And then it tightens itself to your foot when you put it on and press a button. Oh. Yeah. So we, we had that technology. But we just they just had to put it together. Wow. So that's cool. Um, 
But that's not the best part. Um, it's not? No. I thought, in fact, that that was the best part. No, that's not what my story is about. That's just the basis to my story. Is that just a little bit of wetting our appetites? Yes. We're wet. Continue. <laughs> so they made the shoe. Uh-huh. And can you guess who they gave it to? Michael J. Fox? Ding, 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 ding. What happened then? Then there were a lot of bells, and I thought I was listening to a Pink Floyd song. Then what happened? Well, obviously, it's it's like some really cool nostalgia mm-hmm. to Michael J. Fox. Uh, because, like, he was in Back to the Future, and he got to wear those shoes. Made a lot of money. Made a lot of money. But Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's. Uh-huh. So having shoelaces that tie themselves... Is very helpful. Is amazing for someone with Parkinson's. Wow. I, I had a... My grandfather had Parkinson's. Really? And he had, like, those Velcro shoes. Uh-huh. And we still had to help him, like, tighten the, the Velcro and, and pull it over. Right, right. Most days. So to be able to just press a button on your shoe and have it tighten is the best thing for someone with Parkinson's. You have blown my mind. The irony in that story, the way it came back around, uh, the foreshadowing... What's the literary term I'm trying to think of? I, I don't think there is one. But it's just, a happenstance. I'm kind of... A I'm, coincidence. I don't know if it's just... It's so early. Mm-hmm. Or I'm, I'm feeling a little sick, but I, I, I don't know. I woke up this morning with a little bit of nasal issues. And the sun but I want to cry really bad right now. I want to cry about this story. But this is the best part! Oh. All right, okay, okay, get together. My brain's very small. Continue. Do you want those shoes... Do you want a pair of self-tying shoes? You got me some! I didn't get you some, oh. but you can get yourself some coming out spring 2016. Oh, it's going to be here. They're going to be selling them for a limited time. Wow. And then they're going to take all that profit uh-huh. that they make from people buying those shoes, because uh-huh. they're probably going to be great shoes. Uh-huh. And they're donating it, donating it to Michael J. Fox's personal foundation <sighs> for Parkinson's research. Oh, my God! And that's the best part of my story. I- I'm crying. The tears flowing from my eyes. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, I did with our beer in the truck in the moonlight with the beer and the dog. Uh, that's a great story. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. What up, Nelly? All right. I just played some bro country song. Oh god. To take us why? Out. Did what? it feature Nelly? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> um th- as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. The podcast picture today is is the return of Bison Bentley, as we heard he got out of the jar, and he's throwing some sort of magic powder on me. I don't know why he's doing that. He's making you gay. He's making you gay. He, oh, that's what he's doing. Wow. So I guess I'm gay now. Oh. I don't know if I can live up. That's a lot of pressure. Not in today's society. But, I mean, I guess, uh, do I need hair to be gay? Because I don't have hair on my head. No, you don't need hair to be gay. I'm really hairy under my chest, so a shirt, so would that make me a bear? No, you're not big enough to be a bear. Oh, I have to be bigger? If you were that that bodybuilder, uh-huh. you'd be a bear. Oh. Okay. Well, let me think about this. I was really hoping at some point Elizabeth Shue would become my wife, as I alluded to in last show. How are you going to break the news to her? Well, can I be married to her first for a little while? Or, and or then date? be like, oh, no, I'm gay. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. But I was listening to the religious station. They told me gayness is bad. I see. But they based that on one verse in the Bible. Mm-hmm. That said, that don't lay with a person that's the same sex as you. Yeah. But you can't lay with anybody in nope. the Bible. Nope. Unless you're married to them, unless you put a, fing- a ring on the finger, yep. and, you've, and you've ceremonied it up. 
And otherwise, if you do lay with them, you either have to marry them or get stoned. Oh, and it's all about bringing babies into the world, yeah. right? So that's the whole purpose of, mm-hmm. of love is to bring babies into mm-hmm. the world. But you, So really, you can't love anything unless you can have a baby with it. Thanks, Obama. I don't love this hat because I can't have a baby with this hat. You but can, I love this hat. But can you agape that hat? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back around. We we mentioned agape five weeks ago, and we brought it back around. Thank you. Well, I think we hit some interesting topics today. I thought the show was really going to suck, and then it just sucked a tad. It just sucked mostly, not <laughs> all the way. <laughs> it could have been far worse. Yeah. We could have. We I mean, could've, we could have pulled out the pretentious radio voice. We didn't do that. No, we should do that. You want to do that? Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So today is Back to the Future Day. Oh wait, that was yesterday. Yesterday was Back to the Future Day. Ho ho ho! That's right, Kevin. Oh, do you know what that means? That means that uh, a old movie is suddenly pertinent again. Back to the Future is all is completely in the past now. Ha 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 ha. That is so clever and insightful. That's depressing. And scene. That was great. That's about as much egotistical radio person I could get out of myself today. Yeah, I couldn't really do that much. My brain is shrinking. But thank you. Man, I, I, I'm sure glad we're not those egotistical radio people. We're just the best. We're, we are. We love ourselves. I hope some egotistical radio people make fun of us now. I hope so, so I can use my egotistical radio person bell. Yeah! Uh, I'm going to now tell you what I'm going to do on the next show. I think I'm going to have the cassette cubby hole. Oh. Nice. Because I, I haven't got any real interviews lined up, so I'm going to go back and, and play an old interview I did. I do wish I got the name of that one band that the guy yelled at me from the car. Yeah! I'm then really I'd have somebody. Yeah. Oh, we'll also hear from Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Thank you so much for listening. And I won't be there. Haley, you might be, because I don't think I'm going to do a show this weekend. Oh. Well, then ignore Mike's daily podcast. But the, the daily part. I think... It's the name of the show! Oh, wait, you know what? I might... I'll see if Kevin will be on again. Ooh. Beer Kevin. Beer Kevin. Might be on tomorrow. After you just insulted him by calling me his name when we were both the, being the pretentious... See, I, I was grabbing for a name, and, and since I was going to talk about him anyway, I accidentally called him. But he is so not that. No. That's true. He's he's a very uh, down-to-earth funny guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. And I want to go and drink beers at the place that he works at now. But, uh... I- okay, let's go! Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye!